Okay, so we're going to solve a problem where x plus y is negative 2, x cubed plus y cubed is 16, and we need to find the value of x to the 4 plus y to the 4. And we're going to follow an interesting method where we don't actually solve to find the values of x and y themselves, but we'll still be able to find the value of x to the 4 plus y to the 4. And the key idea here is we want to somehow express x to the 4 plus y to the 4 in terms of these other two quantities, in terms of x plus y and x cubed plus y cubed. So to get us started, one thing we can notice is that if we were to multiply x plus y by x cubed plus y cubed, we would get x to the 4 plus y to the 4 as one of our terms. So this is looking great so far, but then we would also have x cubed times y, so plus x cubed y, and we'd also have x times y cubed, so plus x y cubed like this. So we can't immediately express x to the 4 plus y to the 4 in terms of these two quantities, but we can get close by writing this now as x to the 4 plus y to the 4, and then we've also got these two terms, we'll factorise this as xy times x squared plus y squared. So this allows us then to rearrange, and we can make x to the 4 plus y to the 4 the subject, which will give us x to the 4 plus y to the 4 would be equal to the product x plus y times x cubed plus y cubed, so we know the value of both of these, then we have to take away this xy times x squared plus y squared term. So we need to find now the value of xy, we also need to work with the value of x squared plus y squared. So we first of all just look at x squared plus y squared. To find the value of this, we can notice that x plus y, which is something we know the value of, if we square this we get x squared plus y squared plus 2xy by expanding the bracket. So then we can express x squared plus y squared, just rearranging, making this the subject, as x plus y all squared, which we know the value of, minus 2xy. But this still leaves us with the problem of we don't know what the value of xy is. So that's our final piece we would need to find to be able to solve this problem. And it turns out that if we do x plus y all cubed, let's expand the brackets here, we would get x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. So then we know the value of x plus y, so we know the value of x plus y all cubed, and we can group together x cubed plus y cubed, and we know the value of the sum of the cubes of x and y, that's 16 in this problem. Then we've also got this term, which we can write as 3 times xy, taking out a factor of a common x and a common y from each of these terms, then we just have in brackets x plus y, like this. So this is all equivalent to x plus y all cubed. So then if we rearrange here to make x times y the subject, we can actually express xy in terms of x plus y and x cubed plus y cubed, both of which we know the value of. So we can write then xy is going to be equal to x plus y all cubed, minus x cubed plus y cubed in brackets, then we have to divide by this 3 and this x plus y in brackets, so all over 3 times x plus y in brackets. So then we'll be able to substitute in this expression, knowing the value of x plus y and x cubed plus y cubed, and this should help us to work out the value now of x to the 4 plus y to the 4. So first we can just find the value of xy, because we know the value of x plus y and x cubed plus y cubed. So we can just substitute in and read off then xy is going to be minus 2 cubed, minus 16 for x cubed plus y cubed, all divided by 3 times negative 2. So this gives us in the numerator minus 24 divided by minus 6. So xy is going to be equal to 4 then. Then we can use this to work out the value of x squared plus y squared, again just substituting. So x squared plus y squared gives us, first of all, x plus y all squared, so minus 2 all squared, minus 2 times xy, so minus 2 times 4. So this gives us 4 minus 8, or negative 4, for our value of x squared plus y squared. Then finally we can just read off the value of x to the 4 plus y to the 4. So this gives us x plus y times x cubed plus y cubed is minus 2 times 16. Then we take away xy times x squared plus y squared. So we take away 4 times negative 4. So we've got minus 32 
actually plus 16. So we get our final answer then, x to the 4 plus y to the 4 is equal to negative 16. At this point we've solved the problem, but I think it's really interesting to note that we've got x to the 4 plus y to the 4. You would definitely expect this answer to be positive if x and y are real numbers. And it's really interesting here that actually we've overlooked the fact that x and y actually have to be complex numbers in the solution here because we haven't actually solved this to find the values of x and y. So if you're interested, you could actually try and solve this by saying y equals minus 2 minus x, substitute this into the cubic, solve the cubic to find the value of x, and you'll see that you get complex solutions for x and y. There is a nice little shortcut we can use here because we've got x cubed plus y cubed and x plus y. So you can notice that x cubed plus y cubed actually factorises into x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. And then if we were to just divide through by x plus y, you would end up with x cubed plus y cubed over x plus y is equal to a nicer looking quadratic. And we actually know the value of this. We know x cubed plus y cubed is 16, x plus y is minus 2, so this is actually just minus 8 is equal to this quadratic. And we can replace our y's here, so we know that y is equal to minus 2 minus x, just from x plus y equals minus 2. So we can substitute these in, we get minus 8 is equal to a quadratic in x, which you could solve to find the value of x, then you could go on to solve the value of y, and you'll see that actually even though there are two complex solutions for this, in either case we still get that x to the 4 plus y to the 4 is equal to minus 16.